So somebody wanted to know about the gerum, gerum scotoma, and it's a slightly different than the gerum area. The gerum area and the gerum scotoma were described by Dr. Gerum, and so the area is the central 25, and that's important because when we do the Humphrey visual field 24-2 or 30-2, you are testing that area because it's the central 30 or 24 degrees of field. So, as you know, the blind spot in the visual field is an absolute scotoma because there's no photoreceptors on there, and because the nerve fiber layer in the eye runs in an arcuate fashion and inserts into the top and the bottom of the optic nerve, papillomacula bundle and nasal. So these are nasal fibers, temporal fibers, temporal fibers, and papillomacula bundle. Because those fibers respect the horizontal meridian, gerum scotomas respect the horizontal meridian. The most common is an arcuate scotoma, which usually starts off as a nasal step, nasal step, and that's the most common field defect that we see in glaucoma. As the field progresses, it gets denser and denser, and that thing is called a sidel scotoma. And then finally it reaches and touches the blind spot because the nerves, nerve fiber layer touches the optic nerve, which is the blind spot. And so arcuate, nasal step, and if it's dense enough, altitudinal field defects are all horizontal respecting nerve fiber layer defects that have an eponym, the gerum scotoma.